Hi, this is the Ivy League Astrologer with the July 2015 reading for Vedic Pisces. Um, so Vedic Pisces, for you, the first card out is the King of Pentacles. Hmm. feels to me like you're kind of giving up on the way you thought a certain dream would turn out. And which is not to say that this dream isn't coming true, because I feel like it kind of is. <laughs> I feel like the dream is in the process of coming true, and it just looks different than what you had anticipated, but it is the right path. Um, it is actually where you are meant to be and where you're being guided to go for the most healing and faith, ultimately. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't look like um, what you had expected. You had kind of expected it to be more of like a straight and narrow path, I feel like, or more of just like, okay, so point A to point B, and instead it's sort of like this. It's all like, ooh, wavy and strange and there's a lot more stuff in it than you thought and some like cross wires and some yeah it's um it's a much more complex path to get to the goal than what you had imagined which I feel like may at some point this month make you feel like oh I don't even know if I want this anymore let me just maybe I can just walk away from it <clears throat> but it feels like to walk away from it is to kind of miss reaping um the reward of the lesson you know and it's not i mean i do think it's largely i think that there is definitely a lesson here but it's like reaping the reward of the trouble because i don't feel like it's universally a lesson because for some people this is more on the mundane level of just things are taking a long time to come to fruition and some people it's more on the spiritual level of where there has been a lesson over time um so yeah, for some people it's more sort of just like Mercury retrograde kind of stuff is snarled up and you have to be patient and wait for it. And um, for other people it's more of a long term or a deeper kind of snarl. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's something about, it. there's something you've been waiting for that's kind of coming around this month. And it's not fully connected, it's not fully reconnected, it's not fully, you can't quite go there yet, but it's getting closer. Um, and again, I feel like Hey, it's super duper loud outside for no reason right now. Um, but yeah, again, it feels like you may really have the temptation to just walk away from it and be like, this is too much trouble. This is not the way I envisioned it. I just, you know, this is going nowhere good. Um, but it really is that you have to like continue on with the project and go all the way into the heart of it in order to get the most out of it. So there's actually like a new freedom and a new path that's waiting to open up for you, but it's like you have to finish up with all the heaviness and the um, annoying stuff kind of before you can get to that. So this is not something you can rush into. Again, it feels like something that you thought was like an open door, you know, or you thought would be just an open door and it was as simple as kind of walking through there and being like, okay, great, here I am, you know. But it's been much more complex than that. Um, but you're, you're getting to the end of the toil is really what the message is. So, so hang in there. And it will be worth it. I feel like you're seeing, part of it is too, that you're seeing the underbelly of this situation a bit more. And you just, there's like a lot more, not only is it more work than you had anticipated, not only is it a weird funky shape that you didn't really see coming, um, but there's more negativity in the situation than you had thought. And so I feel like you have doubts about whether something truly positive can come out of all the negativity that surrounds this. Um, and the answer is that it can actually, like there's definitely strong indications that this is actually something that is positive for you and that will lead you forward in a good way. Because for some of you, I feel like you're, you feel chained to it and you're like, I guess I'm going to do it anyway, but you're not excited about it anymore, you know? So this is something that will actually be positive though, and that will, the sun will shine again here. You know, right now you're kind of in the uh, toil phase. Just like, just in their discoveries that you're making that are just not that great, like, 
it just feels like oh, it's a lot of effort. And then I feel like for some of you also, like uh, there's been some of the curtain lifted about like some other consequences of the relationship or something, or like there's something else that you've seen, some other side of things of the outcome of the situation that you've seen that makes you kind of like, be like, what? I don't even, that's a hot mess, <laughs> you know? There's some kind of hot mess element to whatever this is. But again, the message is that it is, um, there is, a, there is sunflowers, you know, come from the rain. That's not a thing. <laughs> that's not a thing. But it is like, the sun card is one of the positive cards that's coming up around this. But with the sun card, you know, you think of it as being about like this, like, it's a sunny day and it's so beautiful or whatever. But it's also like there's a, a large portion of it is taken up by all this gray sort of like this horse is basically like plowing the field in order to prepare for the sunflowers to grow, you know. So you will get to this, this point where you're like, Yay, okay, I feel the light of the sun. But right now you're kind of still in this part with this. with this. But it's, I feel like the w magic wand is about to wave and kind of change the situation. So, yeah, you're getting there. So don't give up. Um, and, yeah, there's something here that involves... Loss is like the key word for like all the readings <laughs> in July for some reason. But there's something here that involves like a loss of some kind um, that either feels unfair or um, there's some kind of loss here that is like a necessary part of the functioning of the Wheel of Fortune. But it doesn't feel right to you or, or else you're waiting for somebody else to go through this process of kind of being stretched backwards on the, you know, this is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, where it's like they're kind of, you know, they're on the, whatever that medieval instrument of torture is, the rack. They're like on the rack, you know, being stretched on the rack, and uh, you're waiting for them to suffer a loss, kind of, so that um, your thing can get back on track. And I feel like this is kind of what you didn't anticipate, and that would make sense with, like, the Pisces vibe. Like, Pisces people don't want other people to get hurt, you know? You don't want somebody else to have to lose in order for you to win. And, like, you know, like, that's not the kind of thinking that, that like, the Pisces mind is about, you know? So I feel like it's more of that kind of situation where it's, like, you have to wait for somebody else to drop out of the race or for somebody to lose something or for something to fall through for someone else in order to get what you want. And that makes you feel like maybe this whole thing is wrong, but it's not actually, it's not your doing that um, this Wheel of Fortune is turning against someone or turning in not in someone's favor. That's not your fault. You know, you haven't done anything. You haven't wished that on anybody. You haven't done anything to make that happen. That just is the wheel of karma or whatever turning turning in the way that it's meant to turn. So I feel like you don't need to walk away from this opportunity because yeah, it has this sort of ill-gotten gains kind of air to it for some people. Um, but I don't think that's a I think that's an illusion. So right now you're kind of still again like working towards it, the connection is coming that you've been waiting for. And again, I feel like you're kind of like disgusted with the situation a little bit. But again, the sun will shine again and there is a new path that's here for you that's really very positive. So kind of hang in there. And I would say that the advice is also to kind of do nothing in a way. Like don't try to influence that situation in any way. And I think that's gonna help to solve your sense of worry about having like wished something negative on somebody or something you know because i think if you just stay out of it you will realize that you haven't had a hand in it it's not your yeah so it's not nothing to do with you the path is being cleared for you because that is what is supposed to happen that's the appropriate action um so don't be afraid to walk through that door when it does kind of open up so yeah so that's what I'm seeing for you, Pisces, for July 2015, and I hope that's helpful. If you'd like to get in touch, um, my email address is theivyleagueastrologer at gmail.com. My link for scheduling, if you want to book a personal reading, is down below, 
And um, please note that all the times on my scheduling site are in Pacific time because I'm in California. So if it says 10 a.m., that's 10 a.m. Pacific time. So make sure you do that translation for whatever time zone you're in to make sure it actually works for you. Okay, thank you so much, and I'm wishing you the best. Have a good month. Thanks. Bye.